One of the most basic necessities of life is food. Today, humans have come far from our hunter-gatherer times. We now cultivate and choose the crops we want to eat. But at what price? As the population of the world increases, we will need more food. The land we use for agriculture is the land we are taking away from nature. Our way of taking land for agriculture results in fragments of land isolated from others and the loss of biodiversity. Of course, we can't stop using any more land altogether, but we can follow some simple steps to help reduce the implications. The first step is avoidance. We must use the space that we already have efficiently. One such example is vertical farming. Next, we have mitigation. Here, we can implement different measures such as over and underpasses so that the animals and plants in that area can continue to thrive. We can create wildlife sanctuaries to compensate for the loss of habitat. To establish if any of these methods are fulfilling their purpose, monitoring is required. We must know if what we are doing is actually helping the environment because the earth is what we all have in common.